Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Omega Given here. With all these different creators wanting to give their comments on the Apple Vision Pro, I wanted to put my hat in the ring and put a perspective on this. Um, so I'm just uh, before I get started, let's talk about like my dynamic of like my I guess my channel. For one, this is all hobby for me. I don't care at all. Um, for two, um, I'm married, so my finances actually go towards you know house and family and stuff. But but if I was batch a bachelor with the same jobs I have now, I have a way different perspective of how I would approach this. Because me, I'm like, I look at this, I'm like, eh, I'm probably not going to buy it. But if I was a bachelor and I didn't have to save money for a family and stuff like that, I would have so much disposable income to just be like, I'm buying this. I'm going to have fun with this. Just, not just for content, just because I see a huge potential here. Like, it's just it's just so cool. Um, so let's go, let's dive into it a little bit. So what do we have? Um, of course, if you watch Thrill Seeker or many of the hundreds of other videos about this and KBHD or whatever this stuff is, it, it has some creepy eye things. It has tons and tons of sensors. It's only hand tracking, which is kind of interesting. Um, but really I played a game the other day, which I'm going to post a video about that game soon of just pure hand tracking. And it was pretty good. I'm actually very surprised with hand tracking. If that game had the power that this probably has, it would be flawless and I would love it. I would love playing it. Like it had really great movement system and everything. Like you like hit this movement orb and then you lean into things and it'll make, make you move. It was really awesome. So I, I really actually think that there is a future for gaming without controllers. It's just that it's very hard because you have to be very unique about how you do your things. So I, I'm kind of curious how that's going to work out. But I, I'm not like... You know, that's those are all like side things. That's just like the gamer side of me. But what I see really in this device is um, I think there was a feature on it where you could look at a Mac or like a MacBook and it will display like a mirror the display. And I don't think people realize how amazing that feature is sometimes like a lot of these creators because all these creators are working with like desktops or maybe like a few couple thousand three thousand dollar PCs. But I'm looking more at a like a software developer as I am a software developer's perspective where if you're in a huge like development company for like Apple products, you have a MacBook Pro or a Mac Pro. Sorry, whatever you call these things. Now, how much do these things cost? So this thing costs. Well, if you want to get the 24 core 76 GPU, you'll that'll cost a thousand dollars. If you want to get the uh, 128 un unified memory, that's another thousand dollars. If you want it, or eight hundred dollars actually. If you want to get four terabytes of storage, because you most likely need that much storage, that's another thousand dollars or whatever. If you want to get stainless steel with the wheels, I don't care for that one. That's why I didn't mark that on my thing. Uh, you gotta get the magic mouse. That's in there for free, I guess. You gotta get Final Pro, Cut Pro and then Logic Pro. That's like another few hundred bucks. And how much does that total to? Well, let's look. Um, oh wait, that's not even it. What, what if you have that this workstation? You might need a monitor. How much does a monitor cost? five thousand dollars wait a minute if i could just mirror onto a vr headset that vr headset's only three thousand five hundred or would i get five thousand dollars for a 32 inch 6k display hmm now are you guys seeing the perspective if i had to buy that that would be so expensive but you know let's not go with it because we're gonna get the vr headset instead of course, you don't need a stand and that that would total you at $10,000 for one of these setups. This is definitely not for consumer people, but this is for developer people, developers and other people that are trying to create like different stuff or who knows what. Like me, it would definitely be hobby because I'd probably not use this at my work. Actually, I probably would use it at my work, but it wouldn't actually be needing this much power. But it would be super helpful for me as I'm programming and I want unlimited desk space, like unlimited visual space. So I get unlimited visual space with this VR headset. Basically, I can look and I can see all my coding in my Python here. I can see all my Java over here. I can see my web browsers over here, like two or three of them, because I need like 20 of them for all my testing. It is amazing. Now the cost, yes, it's a little bit much, but when you're at a, you know, pretty high pay scale for software development, it's basically nothing. It's a few months. It's a few months of just like, you know, your work and you can have a huge fun toy that's you love. So if you put this in perspective, this $10,000 device that you would have paired with this is actually genius. Now, I don't know if it works as said because, you know, it's not out yet. We haven't tested it yet. But a MacBook Pro with this like combined that would or Mac Pro. I say MacBook. I need to stop saying that. But a Mac Pro pair with this would be awesome. Now, 
that is a alternate reality, not me, because I actually don't use Apple products too much other than a phone, which I really don't care for too much. I, I, I've learned in my years, I do not need a smartphone that much. I just text people and I use my Bing AI app to get rewards. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to put that in perspective of other people. Um, I have a little bit of a prediction here at the end um, that this is called the Vision Pro. I wonder if there's gonna be a vision. So like maybe next year when this is all released, they might announce like a more consumer friendly product called the vision. And maybe it's like more simplified, more slimmer maybe. And like just dumb to some other perspective. I don't know. That's like a little like maybe you throw into like my hat into the ring of like predictions. That'd be kind of interesting if they came out with a more consumer friendly in a year or two. That's called the vision, not just the vision pro. But that's like another prediction I had. But yeah, I don't know, if you guys like these kind of per these perspective videos, I did one on a township tale and I think that actually helped a lot of people understand the development process because hearing it from a software developer is a whole different ball game than what people think it is. And I don't know, if you guys like do like it, like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.